These are difficult times for the nearly 3,000 Indian peacekeepers in this West African country. Trying to keep spirits up in the war zone called Sierra Leone. They went as part of the UN mission UNAMSIL to implement a peace accord, but are caught in what seems like a civil war. 213 of their colleagues have been surrounded by rebels in the eastern town of Kailahun for over six weeks now. Out of the 23 Indians who were in Cueva, 21 remain hostage in the rebel camp at Pendembu, where the RUF transferred them last weekend. It was widely reported that in transit, two Gurkhas escaped. In fact, they were simply released by the rebels. According to both men, Naik Dashrat Singh Thapa and Lance Naik Tal Bahadur Khatka, although the rebels initially showed hostility and forcibly disarmed the Indians, they were not treating them badly at all. तो उसमें तो हम तसल्ली से बैठे रहे मतलब उन्होंने कोई तंगी भी नहीं नहीं किया और हमारा जो मतलब वहां का ड्यूरेशन रहा ठीक ही रहा वो ऐसे कोई गलत कार्रवाई नहीं की मतलब जो हमारा खाना जाता था हमारे लिए मिल जाते थे दिस हैज बीन द सरप्राइजिंग पार्ट ऑफ दिस हॉस्टेज ड्रामा द इंडियन बटालियन हैड वन ओवर द हार्ट्स एंड माइंड्स ऑफ द पीपल एंड एस्टैब्लिश्ड एन एक्सीलेंट रैपोर विद द रेबल्स इन द ईस्ट According to Vice President Dembi, this was the main reason the hostage situation of the Indians did not initially send alarm bells ringing. Unlike the earlier hostage taking of the 500 mainly Zambian UN personnel. The Indians built very good bridges, the roads, etc. Their relationship was very good. So all that we had was that they have surrounded them in Kailahun and Quiva. Unlike this other one that they have been captured, taken to different places, and they were punishing them. And we also had that Indians are allowed to carry food, water, etc., to meet them, just this group. So I think that was why people did not take their case seriously. Not that they wanted to play any regional or political game uh, with them. I repeatedly saw evidence of this goodwill towards the Indian peacekeepers wherever I went in Daru and Kailahun. I was shown this letter, written as early as May 13 by the RUF district party chairman in Kailahun, several days after the 213 were surrounded by rebels in Kailahun. The letter affirms the rebels' commitment to disarm and says, We, the people of Kailahun, have offered ourselves to the Indian Battalion of Peacekeepers of UNAMSIL to take care of our peace operations until peace is finally restored in Sierra Leone. We do not want any other peacekeepers in our soil. Even now, many rebels are continuing to disarm to the Indians. We were supposed to be doing disarmament we were supposed to be doing uh, the demobilization of people and reintegration. I have a DDR camp here in Daru, which is still functional. I have st during this crisis itself, I have been receiving people to disarm, who have come here uh, with their weapons to disarm. Given this context in the eastern region of Sierra Leone, the UNAMSIL Force Commander General Jetley sees the hostage taking simply as the action of a rudderless group of men. They're not making any political points. To tell you very frankly, since they lost their leader for De Senko, they don't seem to have a game plan. They seem to be floundering. But what they're saying of late is that we've released 500 of your UN personnel because of uh, President Taylor. 
his in intervention. We got nothing to sort of uh, nothing out of it. Nobody is praising us. So we are not going to leave you that easily. Some of them are rumbling like that, not all of them. So I think at this point in time they are trying to find some sort of escape clause somewhere because their back is against the wall. The rebels have asked for Fode Sanko III and in the Sierra Leone Ministry of Defense, the Deputy Defense Minister waxed somewhat philosophical in telling me that despite the atrocities committed by Sanko's men, they were still willing to give the rebel leader a chance to change. There is one man that uh, has had a very great impact on the world and that is Mahatma Gandhi. He was a non-violent man. Sometimes you can at least want to be, be human to a violent man so that your gesture may perhaps assist in changing him. We have, as, we have tried several times. We have not succeeded in changing Forrest Anko and his men from violent acts. So I believe that uh, it is worth trying. A bargain with Fode Sanko is possible? It is. It's what? Not, nothing what? is impossible as long as uh, there is uh, the existence of man. Clearly all options are being considered. What uh, one should also understand, of course, is that simultaneously uh, there is intense diplomatic uh, activity on this, not only on the part of the UN, on the part of the sub-regional countries, on the part of ECOWAS, certainly, on the part of the UN, but even so, even now, even on the part of India, you can be sure that India, the Indian uh, government, is not just sitting down crossing its arms. Last week, the Indian government did finally get into top gear and send a high-level team to Sierra Leone, including Joint Secretaries from the Ministry of Defense and External Affairs and Director General of Military Operations, Lieutenant General N.C. Vidge, who was also optimistic about finding a diplomatic solution. The government of India had also approached all uh, the countries which are involved. There are countries which have uh, say in this matter are the Liberians, the people from Libya, the uh, president of Nigeria, then there is UN from the Secretary General who is himself putting a lot of pressure on them and has told them that they should not uh, resort to violence and should not uh, resort to methods which are not peaceful, uh, hopefully uh, that should work. But should military action be required, there is in the Indian ranks among the UNAMSIL personnel a high degree of readiness. The important aspect is that we want to avoid the casualties. If it cannot be helped and if uh, we find that no other method has worked, well, of course, as a military man, we find we will not feel shy of that. In the case we use force, then casualties will occur, will have to be accepted. Even as every attempt is made to secure the release of the hostages, the other Indian peacekeepers in Sierra Leone are trying to keep their spirits up and bodies fit for the task ahead. It is important that their morale remains high. Life in these tents has not been easy. It's been raining hard for the last few days. Clothes don't dry. But they're here to do a job, which is far from over. And there are few complaints except for one small thing. हम जो भारत से आए हैं पूरे हिंदुस्तान से जो आए हैं वो सभी बहुत खुश हैं किसी प्रकार की कोई भी समस्या हमारे साथ में नहीं है केवल हमारे साथ में समस्या जो है वो हमारी चिट्ठी दो महीने से नहीं आ रही है एंड एज वन ऑफ माय क्रू मेंबर्स लीव सेरा लियोन ही इज कैरिंग विद हिम हंड्रेड्स ऑफ दीस हरेडली रिटन लेटर्स पोस्टमार्क टू फैमिलीज वेटिंग इन एवरी कॉर्नर ऑफ इंडिया द इंडियन कंटिंजेंट हियर इज अ माइक्रोकॉस्म ऑफ इंडियाज डाइवर्सिटी and it is doing us proud let us hope that we can do them proud as well